Passport Bros, a popular movement of men from the West, from America, from Canada, from the UK, from some countries in the European Union, Australia, New Zealand, going to the countries in the East, in Eastern Europe, like Russia, Ukraine, Serbia, in Asia, like Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia to a certain extent, or Latin America, Brazil, Colombia, Costa Rica, and other countries. These men want to find traditional women. They want to find better wives. They want to find women that treat them better. And I've been a passport bro for the last eight years. I never even called myself a passport bro. I hold three citizenships. I renounced my US citizenship, moved out of the US to other countries. I was married to a Ukrainian woman. I currently have a Russian girlfriend. I've had multiple girlfriends from Romania, from Ukraine, from Russia, from countries that people, men from the West, typically go to to find better wives. But is this movement effective? Can these men actually find better women in other parts of the world? And from my experience, it's a resounding yes. If you're in the United States and the women that you meet are feminist, they want you to earn millions of dollars, even though they look absolutely horrible. How much money should your man make a year? Eight figures. Eight figures, $10 million. Yeah. They don't take care of themselves. They don't go to the beauty salon. Their eyebrows, their eyelashes, their hair looks all messed up every single day. They just don't look like women. It's leading down the wrong path. How much money do you think a guy should make per year? Like a million, two million? 300K. 500 grand? Mills. Millions. You don't want to find a woman that wants to control you, that wants to dominate your life, that doesn't want to even order coffee for you. When I wake up in the morning here in Moscow, Russia, with my Russian girlfriend, she's half Russian, half Latina, I wake up and I ask her, babe, can you get us some coffee? She either makes coffee or orders coffee. She makes breakfast or orders breakfast. If we need a taxi, she can get the taxi. She says, oh, babe, let me get, get us the taxi or I get it. I pay for everything. That's the big distinction. So these men that are going to these places, be prepared to pay for absolutely everything. And that's fine. This doesn't mean that the woman is a gold digger, although especially in this part of the world, especially in Moscow, Russia, you will find a lot of gold diggers. A lot of girls that have a 50 lay count, 100 lay count. They want you to pay for thousands of their expenses. They want you to pay their family hundreds of thousands of dollars. You will find those kind of women. But if you search for them properly, if you take the time to really live in one of these places, let's say it's Thailand because you like Asian women, although Thailand, not really my preference. I find Thai women a lot more gold digging than I do Eastern European women. They go straight for the money. So if they see you as being a millionaire or having more money or being able to take their family out of poverty, they just want to attach to you, even though they really don't like you. They don't even want to have sex with you. They just want the money. It's just strictly transactional. Some girls in Eastern Europe are like that, but they're a combination of both. So they want the sex, they want the love plus the money. It's a good addition. And every girl likes money. A girl that tells you, oh, I don't care about your money. Yeah, when you get rich, she's gonna care about your money. Because my ex-wife, she didn't care about my money, but when I became a millionaire, she wanted that money from that divorce. So every woman wants money to a certain extent. These women, especially from Eastern Europe, in my experience, usually want the love and the money. In Thailand, and in some Asian countries I've seen, they actually just want the money and they're okay with sleeping with like a 70 year old man, even though they're 20, just because it'll change their lives and their family's life. That's been my experience. Latin America, I'm not super experienced. I am Latino, I'm from Puerto Rico, and I've actually not dated much in Latin America, although people tell me that women are amazing in Latin America. Feminism is growing, especially in countries like Mexico. Feminism, women's rights, Wokeness is increasing in Mexico. You do have that, but you do have other countries like Argentina, massive country, but Aires is a massive city, millions of people to choose from, and a lot of extremely beautiful women. You have Colombia, which is extremely popular. For passport bros, you can find an amazing woman in Colombia, Costa Rica, many other places in South and Central America that you can find a great woman. Those women tend to be more traditional. They want to build a family. In the West, women are feministic. They want to make money. They want to have a career. They don't want to make babies. They don't want to take care of some man. They don't want to have their children. Women in the East, let's consider the East, Latin America, all these non-woke, non-feministic countries, the countries where passport bros go to, they want to build a family. They want to give you kids at 21, 24 years old. You can find these young women, 18 to 22, let's say you're 30 something. You can find a 22, beautiful, amazing. She treats you like you're a king, she loves you, the sex is amazing, she takes care of you. Overall, everything that a man wants, because she's been raised that way. And it's not that these women are stupid, because some people say that these women are just stupid, they're dumb. Ah, they're just 
stupid girls and you're manipulating them, you're taking advantage of them. If Please, men are husband. traveling overseas to, to countries that have less money and less education, it's because they want a woman who is dependent on them for their livelihood. No, that's how they're raised. If you meet their moms, that is how they think about life. Here in Eastern Europe, that is how they were raised in the Soviet Union. They were raised to take care of their man. Their man goes out and gets money. They take care of their children. They take care of the home. And there's a beauty to that. Maybe you want your wife to be a successful woman. Maybe you want your wife to be the CEO of a company. I don't want that. I want my wife to have a passion. My girlfriend has some passion. She loves to do. She loves to spend time. She has a lot of friends. She can spend time on that while I work, but she doesn't have to build her own company. She doesn't have to be the CEO. She doesn't have to be the 50% owner of my company. And most men don't want that. Most men want a girl that takes care of them, that orders coffee in the morning, that gives them beautiful children, that takes care of those children, that is not a feminist. And very important thing is that when you find these women in these countries, which you will easily find, first of all, if you land in one of these countries, let's say you can't get a visa to go to Russia, you go to Thailand, or you go to Colombia, or you go to Mexico, wherever, go on Tinder and be very safe, especially in Latin America. Some girls can take advantage of you. Always pick a place for the date very close to your house. Never go to their house because they might want to harvest your organs, literally. I've seen stories of people that they go on a date and the girl almost harvests their organs, almost knocks them out. So be, be extremely careful. Some are close to your house. Always take them back to your place, not their place, and be willing to wait. With my current girlfriend, I waited a long time before getting lucky because those are the best women. The ones that don't sleep around, the ones that don't have a hundred lay count like they do in the West. In America, every girl has slept with like 50 to 100 guys or more. In these countries, you'll find girls that slept with one that are virgins at 22, 23. You'll be surprised, but you will find those girls. And it takes you a long time to sleep with them. Two, three months it might take you to sleep with one of these girls. So take your time, take them on a few dates, give them flowers. Here in Russia, there's a flower shop every two minutes because there's flowers everywhere. Women love flowers. It's a beautiful culture. I don't live in Russia full time. Time, obviously I live in many different places I have three different citizenships but I'm just saying as an example because I'm here right now and overall be very wary of your surroundings when you invite a girl from tinder when you invite a girl from your to your house be careful put the money in the safe put your passports in a safe always stay in a nice hotel so you're always safe there's always security you want to have this extra precaution because you never know who you're bringing home you want to be very careful about that and never take these girls let's say you meet them on tinder or you meet them outside you can literally talk to them outside without being a creep don't bring them back to the west don't bring them back to your country so when you meet them in thailand in moldova in brazil don't bring them back to the united states because they will get used to that feministic culture women's rights they're gonna want to build their own business they don't want to take care of no man just like in the u.s that's the culture well they're going to adapt to that culture and then they're going to become a feminist themselves and then they're going to take half your money if you marry them so make sure to not bring them back home go live somewhere else like dubai for example even though in dubai dating it's pretty awful like you'll find a lot of girls with like 100 lay count girls that will not take care of you girls that just don't care about you they just want your money so be very careful in dubai dating but you can move them to dubai you can move them to other countries in eastern europe you can bounce between different places i say go to mexico for a while go to dubai for a while then go to thailand for a while go to spain for a while you can mix and match your time if you're wealthy and then you can have that girlfriend without having her become a feminist without bringing her back to your country of origin because you're just going to ruin everything for everybody the passport bros movement is absolutely beautiful i consider myself a passport bro it's just about going to a new country where you can find a more traditional woman but the important thing is to be extremely careful to vet these women to wait, don't try to sleep with them right away. Take your time, analyze the availability of women, depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a wife and a woman that, to give you kids, then obviously that's what you're going to filter for. And then don't bring them back to your country, have them in other countries. Women and dating is one of the reasons why I left the United States. But if you want to know more reasons why you should leave countries like the US and the West overall, check out this video right here on why I really left America and all the things that are bad with the country and overall the Western society. Check it out right here.